Oh, hi there. My name is Christy. I'm the children's librarian here at Pierre Marquette District Library in Clare, Michigan. And today I'm reading a book called We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. Welcome to the beautiful Sinclair family. No one is a criminal. No one is an addict. No one is a failure. The Sinclairs are athletic, tall, and handsome. We are old money Democrats. Our smiles are wide, our chins square, and our tennis is aggressive. It doesn't matter if divorce shreds the muscles of our hearts so that they will hardly beat without a struggle. It doesn't matter if trust fund money is running out. If credit card bills go unpaid on the kitchen counter. We are Sinclairs. No one is needy, no one is wrong. We live, at least in the summertime, on a private island off the coast of Massachusetts. Perhaps that's all you need to know. So what is this book about? This story is quite a mystery. It surrounds four friends, three cousins, and then an outsider. So we have Gat, the outsider, Cadence, the narrator of the novel, Mirren, and Johnny. So these four have spent every summer since they can recall on this island that their grandfather owns and built. He's built a house for each of their families and they kind of just like escape to this world where um, they're completely kind of indulging in this life of waspy wealth. So the liars, the four characters, um, are living this life of privilege and wealth and isolation and each summer they spend together, they grow closer and they grow a little more devious. And that's why the grandparents and the parents have nicknamed them the liars because they're this close-knit group of friends and they've got kind of an innocent deviousness to them. The story jumps between two different time periods. So the summer they're 15, which they call just summer 15, and then two summers later when they're 17. And why that is, is because on summer 15, something happens and we don't know what it is. Cadence knows, doesn't know what it is. So summer 17, we're looking back on that summer and trying to figure out what's going on. And that's the whole mystery of the novel. I'm not gonna tell you the end because that's the best part of the book is the mystery. Like you will sit down and read this book in one night because you're dying to know what happened to Cadence on summer 15, why she can't remember it, how were the other liars involved? They were so close, but you kind of, because they're, they've got this lying aspect to them, you feel like they're not telling you the truth. What did I think of the books and why do I think you should read them? I loved this story. It was a fast read, it was an addictive read, and I would say just fantastically written. E. Lockhart does such a great job of creating a world that's so decadent and it, ah, that it's almost like reading a fantasy novel or like reading about some royal family. There's like this feeling of royalty to the Sinclair family in the story. She creates this world that's completely inviting um, and so rich, but um, at the same time, like kind of repulsive. And I think that's what she was going for is this world that has this like magic of wealth to it, but also that there's a flip side to that coin. And then it causes all of the characters in the novel to behave in really selfish ways. So why should we care about Cadence? Cadence is our main character and she is really the quintessential unreliable narrator. Unreliable in several different ways. I think that you already know from the title that she's going to be a liar, but not only does she lie to the other characters, she mostly lies to herself. And then she also has this great imagination where she's like not really lying, but rather like giving you these cool images that uh, describe her emotions with like a physical story. 
I really think it adds a poetry and an elegance to the story. Cadence's story is shocking and horrific and she never lets you forget that. She gives you these little lies, and these metaphors that are kind of constantly reminding you that this story is sad and something terrible happened, even if you don't know what it is yet. So basically what I'm saying is this. Number one, get the book. And once you get it, sit down, get comfy and read it. And then two, I want you to tell me about it. Did you like it? Did you not? Am I crazy for loving it? Do you agree with me? What do you think of the book? I'd really like to get your thoughts and opinions and throw them into the next video I do. So you can reply to this video or I'll have uh, our contact information at the library below. And three, thank you, thank you for watching and I'll be back soon to tell you what I'm reading next.